So have you dealt with th- these situations at work that these young ladies have dealt with? Have, and how do you deal with it? Like, what's your reaction to it? I'll say yeah and no. Yeah, in the sense that, like, for the three of us, I guess, like, we have Muslim names. Like, as soon as you hear a name, as soon as you hear who does sound, like... Got it. Yeah. We know the situation. Yeah. But... <laughs> you know what else is a problem, it's though? Not, it's not as hard for me or, I think... Iman or Idil as it is Zainab, for Zainab. Yeah, like yeah. when things like uh, the France situation like anytime you hear about bombings or uh, terrorist activity and it leads to this, like anti-Muslim or Islamophobic backlash yeah we're all impacted by it but, but this she girl, is more in danger yeah. Yeah. she's yeah. more in danger than any of us because she's a visible Muslim when yeah. I'm walking down the street when we're walking down the street like nobody yeah 100%. Not, no one really knows yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean so that, yeah. like, we have to distinguish so that. is it your responsibility each and one of you to educate people and I'll bring this up because I had a conversation with a young lady uh, she was not black and uh, but she's 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 very passionate about these subjects and I told her I said I, I, I was surrounded at times by Caucasians that use the n-word in songs or whatever or, or, or even myself right so they'd come up to me and be like, be like what up my n-word right and they'd say these things and I I how I deal with it and I explained it to her I said I feel very uncomfortable so I tell the person Peace. Like, literally, I don't even say anything. I just walk away. That's how I deal with it. Because I cannot deal, I cannot educate every single person that I meet that is ignorant when it comes to Islam, when it's ignorant when it comes to um, being, you know, just a black culture and whatever the case may be. So I'm asking you, and I'm, I'll start off with Huda again. Do you, is it your responsibility to educate somebody that has a complete backwards thinking when it comes to the hijab or when it comes to Islam in general? Or even again, you see somebody using the N-word like, what up, my ne-? What do you do? I mean, like, I'd probably have to... Uh, find ways to physically constrain myself. Okay. Reacting. That's probably the first thing I try okay. to do. But I think, like, when it comes to, like, you do, run, obviously, like, we've all been in situations where we've gone through anti black racism, Islamophobia, sexism, whatever. Right. Um, and this is, I mean, like, in your job place, yeah, girl. Yeah, like, you can't reality, beat up somebody no. in your job. Like, you no. can't be like, yo, put them up. It was really good it's taking off your earrings. You can't. No, it's 100% reality. Like, I'm in a PhD program. I'm in women and gender studies. Mm-hmm. And Mashallah. I've, 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 Women's excellence. That's chill. Yeah. <laughs> but I have had experiences, like, I'm literally, tough. like, last week. I can name multiple I'm times okay. or moments where, like, really whack shit has been said that has been directed towards me, mm-hmm. which you, I would assume that because I'm in that space, right. it's not going to take place. But, right. like, Islamophobia, racism, sexism, it's everywhere, right? Yeah. But I think that, like, with me, I just always remind myself, because at the end of the day, we're supposed to be taking care of ourselves, right? 100%. Because it's, we, we, we are on the bottom of the spectrum. Mm. Like, folks like us are on the bottom of the spectrum. It's hard for us on a day-to-day basis. So, for me, when I'm dealing with a situation where someone's being like blatantly fucking racist or uh, Islamophobic, whether they willingly or they're intentionally doing it or not. Right. I ask myself like, do I have the time right now to address this shit? Like, mm-hmm. do I have the energy? Right. If I do have the energy, then I'm going to break it down to you, which is v- very rarely happens. Right. If I don't, Especially if I was in a workplace situation, I'm probably gonna walk away from it. I'm gonna sleep on it, and I'm gonna come for your ass with the HR department. Ah, I'll do that. Okay, I'm not gonna directly address it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll, is it your responsibility, and are you gonna step to them and educate every single person? You got, you know, Bobby that is completely ignorant when it comes to slime. You got Kelly that doesn't know anything about the black culture and using the N word and whatnot. What do we do? Do you? Is it your responsibility? Um, I pretty much agree with everything Huda just said. It's true. Like, I think I would have probably just looked at the person and then just went to HR about it but I feel like a lot of the discrimination that I faced or like a lot of us face is usually kind of like under the table so it's like you know education system when we were younger but with public schooling or like even like the housing market when you're applying to like look for an apartment or any of those things it's like not blatantly in your face but it's it's still there like especially with like the public school system you know like for some reason, like, when you're in high school, and if you lived in, like, a troubled neighborhood, mm-hmm. kind of, like, the, the uh, homeschools around you are also, like, not the best of, of schools. Yeah. And, like, your counselors and whatnot are not really that great either. Like, mm-hmm. they kind of, I felt like sometimes they just look at you and they're like, okay, yeah, so um, you're going to be a hairdresser. So let's look <laughs> into some, like, hairdressing stuff. Wow. Or, like, you're going to be a welder. Or, yeah. like, not to say that any of those, like, professions no, no, no. are bad, yeah, of course, but, like, if I'm talking to you about, like, oh, I want to be, like, a professor or I want to be, like, a, 
Like, especially at that term. time, too, you don't, you don't even know serious. what you want to be. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? You, yeah. you want to be at least having the best form of education. And then when you get older, you can make that decision. Like, okay, you know what? I got accepted to every great school, but I want to be a hairdresser now. Yeah. So you can still have that in, in the back burner. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like a lot of the discrimination is usually, like, in any type of, like, decision-making type of Of course, field, yeah. You know? macro, like, yeah, macro, yeah, macro. Zainab, you're in social work, mm-hmm. if I may say, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and you're out here educating people all the time. You're counseling people. Um, you're Mother Teresa. I get it. So no, do, I'm not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're, do you educate these, these individuals? And, and is it your job to do so? Well, okay, like, if it's a client that's getting upset and they decide to do, like, a racial slur, like, at that moment in time, like, my job is to support them for their basic needs and the reason why that they're getting angry uh, and then and like kind of like mitigating that crisis first before I go ahead and educate them because I'm not going to just be like you can't call me a nigger as they're like they're really just trying to get like harm reduction tools like, right. now is not the time like not there's yet. something more prevalent that they need yeah I think what like I am not Google I'm not yeah Yahoo I'm not Bing I'm not any of these like search engines engine. <laughs> where like you can access that's fucking coming Bing yeah <laughs> that's, that's like I'm coming. not any of those things <laughs> yeah. for you. like I don't need to educate you and I think that the the most discrimination I face is amongst my peers which literally like yeah. shocks me yeah. to the core the like I had a coworker who asked me no I didn't know what buck choy was. Okay. Okay. What's that? It's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. Yeah. Okay. I love saying it by the yeah. way. Buck choy. From the uh, like from oh, the, yeah, yeah, I know that little Asian one. Yeah, yeah. it's a predominantly yeah. like Asian style food or yeah. whatever. <laughs> Homegirl's like, how do you not know what buck choy is? Aren't you Islam? And I was like, Aren't you know, I was like, Islam? how is it that you have a higher position what? than me? <laughs> That's when I get pissed yeah. off because it's most of the people that are saying the most foulest thing and they yeah. like racism like any type of discrimination is the, under the basis of being ignorant and dumb. Yeah. But then they're your supervisor and then you stare at them and you're just like I literally get paid entry level position. Yeah. And you are my supervisor and you are like I don't understand. Like I know more about your people, I know more about your history, I know yeah. more about everything else like world knowledge. And yet you have a higher position and you're dumb. Yeah. And, and you're coming for me because I don't know what bok yeah, choy is. Yeah, and I didn't know what bok choy is. Yeah. Like, I, to educate people is super exhausting, especially, like, after, like, kicking down, like, all these barriers yeah. that you have to, like, go through and just, like, to prove for the fact that, like, you are actually who you say you are. Like, yeah. you're not this mediocre mediocrity that we see every day with these Adan people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Alhamdulillah, I don't have a disability because it would just be a lot worse after that. Yeah. And then, like, you, and then, like, I have to educate them. Like, no, I'm physically tired. Like, I just had to kick down 17 doors Mm -hmm. to just get them all closed back in my face again. Like, I don't need to educate you on anything. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time when you do, like, a lot of the time people, like, it's not a situation where you're like, hey, racism or Islamophobia, these things exist. Right. And they respond back with, oh, word, okay, cool, yeah, I believe you. It's actually, I don't believe you. I don't see these things. Wow. Yeah. Like, I don't experience these things, so I don't, I don't believe in these things. Could have walked into the lunchroom after and they're going to be like, who the can't take a joke? Yeah. 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 Are you doing that? Are you an angry black exactly. woman? Exactly. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then I end up becoming angry. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then you, you are really what? an angry yeah. black woman. Yeah. Exactly. And it's not fair. You I put like, us in these positions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you Stop have it, more of a people. responsibility almost like, I always feel like I have more of a responsibility not to react because yeah. I don't want to like partake in continuing that like angry yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to snatch like, their fucking soul. The one that's just like, you just like attack you, you know? When does it become, like for you, you said that you want to keep your job. You you need toothpaste and you got habits. Not, and not, you got kids. I'm not good like these people. Like no, but when does it become? Time. When does it like for you, Iman? I'm asking yeah. you. When is your threshold? Enough, enough. Like when is it? Like what? It, would it be enough to be like you know what? Am I in a meeting for somebody to be like these charts are horrible, you nigger? Like then, <laughs> do you? Yeah. <laughs> like then? <laughs> Sorry, I just said it, didn't I? I was saying N word the whole time. Honestly, but yeah, it depends how much you're getting paid. If I'm getting paid, then, uh, <laughs> I didn't hear anything. What, Nancy? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if I'm getting paid pa- peanuts, I'm getting up and I'm. I'm telling Troy he's a dick. Yeah. You know? And yeah. He, he, he. I hate you. Yeah, yeah. You smell. Yeah. Why do you smell like a wet dog every day, Troy? Oh, like, stop. Why do you smell? You know, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But at the end of the day, I think when it comes to uh, having to educate, the only time I really educate people at work is when I'm requesting eat off and they have to explain I don't know what day it is. <laughs> the hardest part is when you say there's two of them. If you yeah. already said 
there's oh, one, and then yeah. they're like, yeah, it's Eve again, and they're like, yeah. You start Googling, like, <laughs> yeah. let me see. If people, you know how people have asked me to, like, because somebody else has, like, I asked for it, and nobody uh, nobody questioned me, but another manager would come up to me and be like, hey, uh, I don't know, Jamal has asked it off. Do you? Is it true that there's two? Because they don't believe Jamal, so they think oh, yeah, Jamal's yeah, trying yeah. to get two days off. And I'm like, yeah. no, Jamal's telling the truth, well, and like, I can't that, believe you're that, asking that will me. Be ten days off, though, like it's a yeah. big deal for Aiden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's our, it's, it's, and I try to explain it in the most simplified way. I say it's our Christmas, right? Like, so next topic, juicy topic. We're all girls here, so we're gonna have a little inside scoop of things that we talk about. And this topic has come so much for 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 us and anytime uh you know you hear it on facebook shout out to shot corner um nephew's corner you name it all those big groups on facebook um kids. sorry nothing uh, you said those kids nope uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> can you keep the shade to yourself please yes um so um i'm gonna ask you you know we've talked about this before marrying outside your ethnic background marrying a 